Now I'm going to show you how to set up your oxygen cylinder before you start your activities. As you know, you have two oxygen bottles. One is your B2, that's a bigger oxygen bottle with two liters of oxygen in it. And another one is a B1, which is a smaller oxygen bottle with one liter oxygen. This top actually indicates different numbers on it and a pointer with white in color. And the numbers goes up to 15, indicating 15 liters. So you need to set up the level which has been prescribed by your doctor or your physiotherapist in order to start your activity. For example, if you have been asked to use two liters of oxygen, turn the num dial to number two directly point in, in line with your pointer. Now we turn it back. Once you finish setting up your recommended level of oxygen, then you move on to turn your knob up anti-clockwise. So you turn your knob anti-clockwise. Another important point before setting up your levels and also turning the knob, you have to check whether your oxygen bottle is full. You see this dial with a needle and different colored zones. When your needle points your green zone, and if it is in the green zone, then your oxygen bottle is filled. And if the needle moves down to the yellow zone, your oxygen is half filled in the bottle. And if your dial points red zone, then your oxygen bottle is nearly empty. So you have to be getting ready with another bottle to change over. If you're going out with the oxygen bottle with the needle pointing at a red zone, you need to have another oxygen in your car to change over immediately. The next thing I'm going to show you is about the conserver box. This conserver box goes along with the oxygen cylinder. It allows oxygen from the bottle only if you're breathing in, so that it's not getting wasted if you're not breathing in. So it conserves your oxygen. That's why it's called conserver box. So in the conserver box, you can see two diagrams on the back of the box. One indicating your nasal cannulas, which you put into your nose, and you have to connect the other end to this point. The other side indicates the bottle. So a cable goes from here to your oxygen bottle at the top. Now on the conserver box, you see the settings and an indicator which shows the levels of your battery in the conserver box. The conserver box battery should be full in order for your oxygen to be delivered appropriately. Check it before you use it. So you have to turn the knob this way and this indicates the green light indicates your conserver box as full battery so it's ready to go. But if this color changes to yellow or red you have to change your battery in the conserver box. How to change your battery? So this area you open up and you have your battery. So remove the battery and change a new one. Now in this session I'm going to demonstrate to you how to set your levels on your conserver box and on your oxygen bottle. For example if you have been recommended with two liters of oxygen for activity then you set your conserver box to level setting two and then set your oxygen bottle to level four. You always should set double the amount of oxygen recommended on the oxygen cylinder if you're using along with your conserver box.